Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hang Out with Me in the Kitchen Space. In today's episode, let's make some good curry and with me I have my ingredients. So from this corner, I have some all-purpose flour and this is a secret ingredient. It's going to help in thickening our curry. I have some goat meat that I've already washed, cubed and patted it dry. I have some soy sauce but this is completely optional. You can leave it out if you are not okay with it. I have some cooking oil. For the list of spices, feel free to add what you like and leave out what you don't. For my option today, I have some mixed spices. I have some paprika some black pepper and finally has some curry powder but you can also add whatever you like i have some salt i have more black pepper capsicum some tomato paste coriander leaves some onions ginger garlic and finally i have my coriander stems and without further ado let's get started Before we proceed to the other side, let's work on our meat and I'm going to season my flour with some salt. And also some black pepper. Then I'm going to mix this so that everything is well combined. And you can smell the, the black pepper, very fragrant. Then. After that, I'm going to sprinkle my meat with the flour. Then uh, this is going to help in forming a coat. Then it's also going to help in uh, thickening our curry. So just add enough flour. Uh, I'm going to put the excess flour. You don't have to worry about that. And make sure that the pieces of meat, all of them, are well coated. Uh, once I'm pretty sure that all of them are well coated, I'm going to transfer them to the dish. Then this goes to the bin because you cannot recycle this. And then let's get started on the cooking. So once my pan is dry enough, I'll go in with some cooking oil. Then we are going to start by browning our meat. Then I'll put my pieces of meat. And we're just browning them at this point. We are not cooking the meat. So you also want to make sure that every piece of meat is in contact with the sephoria So you can see the color that you want on our meat. So 
So now that I'm happy with the browning, I'll set this aside. And this is exactly what you want. So this is exactly what we wanted. We're going with some cooking oil. Then I'll add in my onion. Once they start, start turning translucent, I'll go in with my garlic and ginger. Then, once the garlic and ginger is fragrant, I'll add in my coriander, stem, and some tomato paste. Then, as usual, I'll loosen the tomato paste with some water. Then, I'm also going to deplace the bottom. And this sauce is looking beautiful. So, at this point, I'm pretty sure that my tomato paste is almost ready. So, I'll go in with my coriander leaves in the capsicum I'll mix this well then I'll go in with my spices and this smells amazing So at this point, I'll go in with my meat together with all its juices that it has in. Then I'll add just a small pinch of salt because we had added more salt and we're also going to go in with some soy sauce. And this smells like heaven. So it's at this point that you want to add in our water and you add just a generous amount of water. And because I'm going to be having this with rice, I've added a generous amount of water. And you can already see that this is almost thick. I'll add just a little bit more, and that should be okay. Then I'm going to cover this and cook it on low heat for about 30 to 40 minutes. So in the meantime, as our meat gets ready, let's make some rice. And today, uh, this recipe is based on white rice, just potent rice. So on a normal day, I'm usually against that. 
So I'll add in my two cups of water. Then I'm going to add in my rice. Then I'll cover this and I'll see once my rice is ready. So once you do this at the center and you see there's no more water, that's how you know your rice is ready. And you, as you can see, rice yangu metoke apwa because I measured my water and my rice. So I'm going to cover this and I'll check on my meat. So this has been going on for about 25 minutes, there about, and I've been stirring it gradually, so you can see how it looks. So I'll just go in with some soy sauce for the color. You do not really have to add it, but I just like it with a little bit uh, enhanced color, and as you can see, uh, it has become a little bit darker. And I'm also going to add a few drops of water. A few mls just to thin it out and as you can see this already looks beautiful so we have a really nice gravy and i'm going to cover this and give it about five or so minutes and this should be ready for serving and tasting So about five minutes later, you can see how gorgeous this looks. So this is ready and you can see how big our gravy is. I'll switch that off. If at all you have the coriander leaves, you can add yours at this point, but I already added mine. Then I'll see you for serving and tasting. So finally my food is ready and I've served mine with some rice. I've also served mine with some cabbage and you can see how thick and gorgeous this looks. So this is how you best enjoy it. And I'll definitely give it a taste test. The sauce tastes amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. You can't even tell that the rice is plain. We haven't added anything to it. But when you use sauce in ngiyo kondani, you can tell even there is no salt in the rice. So that's pretty much it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you're going to try this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.